Let's talk about the Tigers. Go down to Starkville. Get them a W, 28-25, went up 7-0 in the first quarter, 7-3 at the half, and then they come out, guns ablaze in the second half, 14 uh, third quarter points, and then another touchdown in the fourth that actually was the the final margin here, get them a, a win by a field goal. Uh, Will Rogers, you know, of course we knew they were going to throw the ball uh, quite a bit, 47 out of 62, 371 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Uh, the My problem with Mike Leach is early in this game, you could see that they were having success running the football. For the game, 26 carries, 115 yards, 4.4 yards a clip, and they had over 50 yards in the first quarter. Like they, No, 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 over 40 yards, almost 50 in the first quarter. They were successful running against LSU, and for whatever reason, they went away from it. Now, LSU, to their credit, the pass defense has been shored up a little bit this year. Cheers to that, because uh, they also did not have Derek Stingley in this game, and that was... I was about to say, without was, Stingley, it sucked. Yeah, that, that, that's a bit concerning. Kayshawn Butte, by the way, four receptions, 85 yards, two touchdowns. Trey Palmer had a 58-yard touchdown as well, and then uh, Cole Taylor had a 41-yard touchdown. That's, that's where the points came from. That's the 28 points. Four passing touchdowns. LSU still could not run the football. 27 carries. We're not going to run it against anybody. Again. When we can't run against McNeese State, there's not an SEC team in the country on our schedule that we can run against. Now, here's the deal, though. You can throw the football. That's Absolutely. Right. Max Thank Johnson, 17. Thank God. <laughs> 17 out of 27, 280 yards, four touchdowns. He did have one pick in the game. Uh, but the QBR was good. QBR was good. Uh, Brown Yeti said uh, the SEC West could come down to Arkansas and Ole Miss. I mean, it's possible. It's very yeah, possible. Uh, we'll, right. we'll see what's up with KJ Jefferson. But yes, it's be any, right. anything be right. is possible. This this season has all of the shades of 2007. If oh, we have God. if we have no news on KJ as of right now, it's if he's hurt, he's sore, but he'll be fine. If if, if something was broken, if something was popped out of place, we'd have found out last night. That yeah. game that game ended at at five o'clock, five thirty. Like we would have known by now. So, uh, we are going to talk about Auburn in just a little bit, but uh, LSU schedule, they got Auburn, Kentucky, Florida, Ole Miss, Alabama, Arkansas coming up, and then ULM, and then A&M. Does the Mississippi State game make you feel any better about going into that gauntlet? Uh, no, no, I think we're going to be in the fight of our life for Auburn. Thank God Auburn finally looked like shit this weekend. That probably was a look ahead, though, so I'm not going to read into too much of it. Uh, I still think they're a better football team than us. I don't know that we win another SEC game. After last yesterday, the Auburn game is going to be fun, and I think we're we're going to be in that game. I don't think we'll get blown out, and I think A and M is beatable as well. I don't I, I don't know that we win another SEC game, but I think it's possible that there's two. There's two teams that we should be in a game with. How many How many does Coach O have to win to feel comfortable? Well, not enough. That's that that. That number is not 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 there. We're done. I mean, so if it, it, they're three and one right now, because you're magically assuming that we're going to beat Ole Miss or that we could beat Ole Miss or Arkansas or Bama, that that we just we just can't we just can't beat those teams. Our team is not good enough to do that. So let, our let's, offense isn't that good, and our defense. Our, if you go one dimensional against any of those three teams, if you go one dimensional against the defense of Arkansas, they're going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah. and we're one dimensional football team, so they're going to beat the shit out of us. Yeah. Yeah, Brown Yeti said it was nice. I was nice to Rodgers up until now. He just can't throw the ball down the field. He's washed up Drew Brees. Uh, Leach, Leach will have a quarterback next year. Yeah, he'll he'll find a way to to find Leach, a Leach will have a quarterback next year. Trust me. I uh I I can feel you on that. I, I don't I don't know what happens with if we don't win another SEC game. If we lose to Auburn. If we lose to A and M. If we lose to Kentucky, then. Then yeah, I don't I don't think Leach is coming back. My you know my argument for this all the time. Don't tell me he's gone until you tell me who you're replacing him with. Oh, okay? agreed. Like like agreed. If, if 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 I had pizza two nights in a row and I really don't like pizza and I I'm not I don't want, I don't want pizza today. All right, and someone says we got pizza and I'm like I don't want pizza. Well then tell me what you do want, okay? Because I I don't don't just throw something out. Until you know what you're replacing it with, because what you replace it with is pretty damn important than what you're throwing out. Because we know what we have right now, and while we're not happy with the results, we know what we have right now. Yes, yes, 
So, oh, and, and if you think it can't get worse, bullshit it can't. Oh, just look at all the other places where it has got. Look at Tennessee. It look can at Arkansas. Get worse. Look at Tennessee. Yep. It, yes. can, it can get worse. It we absolutely promise. can get worse. Let's see. How do you know when things are bad? They talk about getting new lockers at Vanderbilt. That's ghost dog. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad at Vandy. Uh, Georgia just, oh, gosh. Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt's, Vanderbilt's a bad football team. They haven't been this bad in a long, long time. The last couple of years has just been the absolute bottom of the barrel. I They, at some point in time, I don't know that there's a coach that can fix that. I think somebody has to change the way they play football. Yeah. No, no, you're not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.